Namaste guys, in this video, we are going to learn how to do torsional shaft stimulation in SOLIDWORKS. So, let's start. So, first thing that I have to do is, I have to create a geometry to do the simulation. Quite obvious. So, let's create it. So, I will select the front plane, click on sketch. As you can notice that I am in currently part mode, not in assembly mode. So, I will draw a center line here. Press escape. Now give it a length as per your requirement. Let's say its length is uh, 400. Click OK. Now what I will do, I will draw some line like this and press escape. Now let's give them some distance. Let's say it is uh, 100 and this length is also 400 and this is near about 100 now go to the features okay first exit the sketch mode and click on revolve boss space select this sketch click on no and click on reverse direction you can see what is doing on so let me show you more details for example if i click on reverse direction the thickness will go inside of it. If I click on here, it will go outside of it. Okay, so this is what it is doing. And you can increase the thickness as per your requirement. Let's say 15 mm, uh, I'm fine with it. Click OK. So this is how it looks like. Now select this face, click on sketch. Draw a circle here. And give it a diameter as per your requirement. So, in my case, I am giving it a diameter of 330, but you can change it as per your requirements. Select this line, click on here, construction geometry, draw a circle here, uh, give it a diameter, let's say 30, go to the features, okay, sorry, sketch, and I will choose something called circular pattern. So it is asking for a point about which you want to rotate. So select this, select this center of origin. Now, which thing I want to do the pattern? I will select this circle, how many times? So I will increase this. Let's say 10 times, click OK, go to the features, click on extrude cut, click on through all. Through all basically means it will cut throughout. Click OK. So this is how it looks like. Now, how can I do the simulation? To do the simulation, click on SOLIDWORKS add-in. Click on SOLIDWORKS simulation. Just in case if SOLIDWORKS add-in is not showing and SOLIDWORKS simulation is not showing, what you have to do is, let's say features, features also, you know, features always show. So right click on here, click on tabs and uh, you can do click on SOLIDWORKS add-in. Okay, or you can directly uh, from here click on SOLIDWORKS simulation. If it's still SOLIDWORKS add-in simulation is not showing, it simply means while installing SOLIDWORKS, you doesn't install SOLIDWORKS simulation. So it's your fault. So you need to reinstall SOLIDWORKS. Now click on here, click on new study. So what kind of study I'm going to do? I'm going to do static study. Click OK. Uh, so here's the thing. Now, when you do simulation, you need to you need to know something called boundary conditions. Boundary condition is that, uh, for example, at what temperature we are doing this experiment, what is the load, where it is the fixture, what is the material, etc. So we will define everything one by one. So here you can see the part. So right click on it and apply your material. If you want to apply some other material, click on apply edit material. You can see all the material here are showing. You can also create custom material as per your requirement if you want. But in my case, I am choosing alloy steel. Click apply and close. So you can see a tick mark is there. It means that this material is applied. Uh, next thing is connections. Connection is basically used when you have more than one geometry. Do I have, have more than one geometry? No. So I don't need to use connections. Next is fixtures. So fixture basically means in this geometry, what uh, at what location it is fixed. So right click, click on fixed geometry. So as you can see, 
that the green pass is fixed and other can move so what thing i want to fix so this thing uh, can be fixed about these holes basically where you put your port rivets or nuts it's up to you so i will select all of them click ok now what i have to do is now loads so i doesn't apply any kind of load here so right click so what kind of load we want to apply i want to apply torque so for torque i have to select a face so i selected a face uh, how much is the load torque we basically i want to apply let's say i want to apply 70 now make sure that you keep in mind it is 70 newton meter uh, because if you don't use the correct uh, basically units you will face issues and one more thing notice what is the direction of my torque it is clockwise if you want anti-clockwise click on reverse direction it's up to you how you want to use now click ok now to run this simulation simply click on run this study Notice uh, my stressing graph is showing and you can see that how much stress is generated and here you can see the graph and if you want to do animation click on here click on animate so you can see this is my uh, stress generation graph click ok let's see the displacement click on show if I want to animate click on simply animate now a question comes to your mind does it really attach much uh, displacement is there now here's the thing in SOLIDWORKS if you do the simulation so displacement is basically shown uh, more than 1000 or 700 times than the original but why 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 they do this thing here's the thing suppose the deflection is just 1 mm can you able to visualize 1 mm deflection with your eyes the answer is no so to make it easily visualize SOLIDWORKS do the displacement more than 1 mm basically show you 10 or 30 mm or 50 mm so that you can visualize it as you can see from here the graph that it is 10 raised to power minus 4 so you can assume minus 4 mm how small this displacement is so that you can visualize it okay so this is the purpose of doing it uh, but one more thing suppose somebody say hey i want to see the deflection in real scale what i need to do so let's say right click click on edit definition you can see that it is currently 21,000 times how much uh, 216,000 sorry 216,000 times the original so if I click on true scale remember it is automatic true scale click ok now this is the how much reflection it is showing let's click on animate you can now observe how much you know the displacement is but it is not uh, you know any kind of displacement is there because it is very very small Similarly, you can see the strain, strain 1. If I click on here and click on animate, you can see how much stress is there. Now, if you want to create, let's say, a report, simply click on report. Now, you can add the description as per your requirement. Uh, flange, this is called flange part, this part is called flange simulation. And let's give it some designer name. So, it is done by CAD knowledge subscribers because you guys are going to do it yeah knowledge subscriber and you can decide the location where you want to place it so i'm putting on desktop and click on apply and publish so what it will do it will create the whole simulation report data for me that will be very beneficial assuming that i have to do it manually how much you know Time it will take so here is the sort works doing all the hard work for me it will do you know meshing size etc blah 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 things for me and i don't have to you know work hard because we are ingenious we are lazy guys notice description plan simulation and you can see the designer name st study etc and table of content so everything is there and i don't have to you know do the hard work you can see
you can see that the, uh, my material properties, what is the density, what is the weight of it, okay, what is this volume, mass, everything. So it is, you know, quite beneficial doing all, instead of doing all this manually. And if I go downwards, you can see my uh, stress simulation data. What is the minimum and maximum? Okay, so in that way you can make a lot of things. If you have any kind of doubts and queries, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.